Oh, I can barely hear you. What? Uh, how long you guys been playing here? It's probably about four months, three, four months, something like that. Three, four months, yeah. What it, how is it? Uh, it's closing down, man. Is that big news or what, dude? Yeah, it's major news, and we're all disappointed, especially because the bottom line is we actually formed around the gig, like uh, the band formed around the gig. Yeah. Initially, what happened was I wanted a solo guitar gig, and I asked my buddy Colin, who's uh, kind of our spokesman in a way, if he'd go to Danny's and, and try to get me a gig. And uh, in the meantime, I had been jamming with this guy, Stan Behrens, who unfortunately is not with us. He's part of the band. Yep. Killer harmonica player, j uh, plays with the band War, tours all around. And uh, basically, Stan, you know, he said, well, why not bring Stan with you? Yeah. And then uh, Matt's been, uh, the tenor player has been playing with me for a long time, Matt Demerit. Killer player, we've been jamming a long time. He joined in. Then one, Stan, one day Stan says to me, hey man, I got this buddy Rob, he's a killer keyboard player, he's coming down tonight. Yeah. And uh, I didn't expect, you know, he came down with a keyboard and a drum, and I'm like, what the hell, like, what are you doing? He came up to me before the show and said, I'm only here to support you, man, you know, this is, that's, you know, I'm not gonna get in your way, it's all good. I said, cool, we'll see what happens. And he starts playing bass with his left hand, he plays like, what would be equivalent to bass guitar. Yeah. And on the right hand, he hits the snare drum and that's, a, that's our rhythm section. Yeah, that's awesome. And he swings, he manages his swing with all that, so nice, yeah. How, uh, so how has Danny's kind of changed Venice in your eyes, man? Well, Danny's, Danny's has been here a long time. I remember before that there was St. Mark, it was called St. Mark's. Actually, um, Venice, Italy, the patron saint of Venice, Italy is St. Mark's, so that's why the St. Mark's here. Um, I remember playing at St. Mark's a bunch of times, all of us did at, at one point, and, uh, and then it changed into Danny's, so uh, yeah, it's just had a lot of history. I played here a bunch while it was Danny's in different yeah. configurations. How are, uh, how are the people around here, man, and the, the, um, the, the ownership, and like how, how, how they've treated you? Oh, they've treated, especially the management, uh, Ravi uh, Kristen, he's the manager, I'm going to say something on the mic later. He, he rolled out the red carpet for us. He really did. He did everything he could to support us. Um, we were playing initially on Thursday nights. We weren't getting a crowd. He says, I want to move, to you, uh, move you to Fridays, 9 to midnight, and we're going to give you a pay raise. That's the way he was. We didn't ask for the extra money. He just offered it. And that's something a musician really appreciates, especially in times like this, where the arts are kind of like the last thing on the menu, yeah. you know. What's uh, one thing you're going to miss about Danny? Uh, well, just the performance here, you know, like live music. You know, it's, it's a little threatening for musicians these days. There's less and less places for us to express ourselves in what we do. The terrace is closing down, Danny's, a bunch of places closing down, and it's all due to the gent rapid gentrification. And... Uh, Unfortunately, the omnipresence of Snapchat, which is kind of, they're eating Venice up. And somehow the community has to, I won't say fight back, but there needs to be some sort of dialogue here. You know, if they're gonna, if they're gonna buy Venice, they should at least recognize that this is an arts community and they should support the arts in some way, shape, or fashion. Yeah. All right, thank you. I really appreciate yeah, it. Yeah, pleasure. Thanks for filming us. Yeah, no problem. Yeah, all right, I later. Can take that mic, my man. Oh, oh, yeah, the mic. <laughs>